Well, welcome to up. Uh, I'm at that point, like I'm tired, but not tired enough to sleep. But welcome to gaming up late with Zeus for your Omega. Do a little short little broadcast of Mass Effect 3. Hopefully, giving me some more time to do it tomorrow. But I just felt like playing just a bit for like an hour, just to pass the time. So this is part A of the let's play. Let's get to it. You've where we last left off it was the Cerberus attacking the Citadel. We rescued the Citadel. We saved the council members. They gave us uh information. We got some targets, some leads to follow. Let's check out the C uh See, I see the galaxy map. Oh my god. They also told us about Hackett. Told us about Anderson's apartment. We also got Arya Tilok with Doc 42 to get the Omega back, but we'll save those for later. Okay. We can go speak with the Koreans. What other details did he give us? Find the ex service scientist, investigate the Sari colony. Let's go get those scientists. We could use them for the crucible. Just maxed out on fuel. Messed up there. move does she have? Disruptive arm, ammo, can cause a shot, infernal grenades, marksman, arms master. Let's take gears, take an Ashley. These scientists have been holed up out here? Not much in the mission brief. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set up down and get out of here. I need these scientists. 
scientists alive. No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Check for survival. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh... You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Invisible Garrus. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex Cerberus. Scientists mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the collector base to work on the different components of a large attack. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. Yeah, the elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were gonna find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. 
but the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Jamie, I didn't want to come here with these people. It was his idea. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer. We met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes. Well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord. I have to go. And I'm not even gonna pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? That just upped me, Auntie. <coughs> so those refugees got everyone here? Yes. Damn. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. And it's hard from 40 scientists, we have 120 people now. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. 
We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You in? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Dr. Cole, got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. I don't know what we would have done without... What kind of work did you do for service? Until the elusive man, it was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical... That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? Thanks, Dr. Cole. Thank you again for everything. Hey, you okay? Where have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. How long have you known Bren? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um, if these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting you, building a life, whatever's left. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything, and sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like it. I'm important to these people. Sure, I get No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. I should focus on getting these... You bet. Let's get to it. <sighs> Let's get these AA guns back up and going. Badly equipped, guns offline. It would have been a massacre.
Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. You do the repairs. Will do. Ready, Ash? Just you and me. You bet, Shepard.
Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. I almost forgot to pick up the, the antidote.
was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! The place is overrun! We gotta go! Headed to you with the shuttle! Understood! Crap! Back on C! Jacob! Hang tight! We'll clear you a landing zone! Skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them in a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. play this game what's the matter vicarian you chicken i don't even know what that is though i've heard everything in the galaxy tastes like it but if you're suggesting i'm scared game on vega age before wisdom okay 
Back in my CSEC days, I busted a Batarian spy ring that was trying to assassinate a counselor. Please, I fought off a dozen angry Batarians on Omega single-handedly. Used one of them as a landing pad off a three-story jump. <laughs> Just warming up, seeing what you had. Now, I tracked down this guy, Saren. Stopped him from raising a Geth army and unleashing the Reapers three years ago. Doesn't count. You did that with Shepard. You're right. I was the Shepard from the very beginning. That just means you're old. I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use it. Hey, Commander. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise Ice Brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses, I'll open the bottle. And Jeff says, Jack, Jacqueline, subject zero, is sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard, you know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. Well, neither have you. And I never will. You are Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel, conqueror of the Collectors, savior of the galaxy. You think your first just disrespects everyone you're fighting for, alive or gone. That makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I am lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you, Commander Shepard, and good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Commander? Commander? You think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? I might have. You know you have. I'm Archangel. Maybe I heard something about that too. Hmm. Then maybe you also heard that for a couple months there, the crime rate on Omega mysteriously dropped while Archangel did a little house cleaning. So you ran a cleaning service on Omega. Back on Fell Prime, I uncovered a pair of harvesters. Had to kill them by myself. Two worm necks, that's almost impressive. Oh, that's not even the best part. They left behind an egg. It hatched, and I trained it to let me fly it. <laughs> the Alliance teach you to make up crap like that, or did you figure it out all by yourself? It's a gift. Hey, Commander. Don't mind us, just telling James here what it means to be a real soldier. Another time, maybe. Hey, Commander. Have we heard from Agent DeTrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the Loas relay. Thanks for coming by. Please, enjoy your day. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. Fair enough. 
we've all got one of those. Just one, huh? Yeah. Not every story has a happy ending. Except there was this one time I teamed up with a Turian named Garrus Vicarian. He was pretty good with a gun, but he thought he was some kind of hotshot. Yeah. Yeah, I knew this wise-ass Marine named Jimmy Vega. Sounds like a pole dancer on Omega. Always got on my nerves. But the kid was all right. Had guts when it counted. And together they cured the genophage. And stopped Cerberus from taking over the Citadel. And finally kicked the Reapers from this galaxy and into the next. With a little help from their friends. Nah, it was just us. But mostly me. Another time, maybe. Hey, Commander. <laughs> we got lucky down there, Commander. Civilians, children... Could have been very bad. I don't even want to think about it. But scooping those scientists right from under the elusive man's nose? That's gotta piss him off. <laughs> I'm glad that Jacob guy is gonna be all right. I hope we can trust a bunch of ex-Cerberus. Just saying. Commander? Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy, she is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space-faring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors and the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See? Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a space... Edie can direct the Normandy with her thoughts. She sees, hears, and feels through the ship's sensor arrays. The Normandy is her body. I've seen Edie's body, and its curves are a fine sight better than the Normandy's hull. So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this, and my head's gonna explode. Good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. I went right, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. It gets better. While interfacing through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. I wouldn't go that far. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and I'll send the plans their way. Do it. Well done, everyone. Nothing to report, Commander. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. Shepard. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. 
I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals, otherwise... Perhaps later, Commander. combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? That last mission on Novaria shows why I love the Cunha. The munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check. Ma'am? Where to go to next? Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? Asari High Command hid a lot from us. You're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? No, these Ardat Yakshi lived in the monastery so they wouldn't or couldn't harm anyone. However, they're still powerful biotics and potentially very dangerous. That's why High Command sent commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. 
That is less than encouraging. What were the commando's orders? If there was a chance the Arda Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Morinth was dangerous, but are the Arda Yakshi this big of a threat? Don't assume anything. Maybe the Yardat Yakshi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. The C-111 Skyline shuttle is exuding heat, indicating recent use. Vocalization exceeds a sorry vocal cord range. As do those. Did you hear that? Stay sharp. We found the commandos. Reapers, looks like we know why the commando teams went silent. This monastery's out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Ardat Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with a nav point location for a bomb. It's planted inside the monastery's great hall. At least it's no surprise no gone to Chanka, but the commandos want this place gone pretty badly. Ardat Yakshi or not, evacuating this place would have saved a lot of lives. If there's no survivors, let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. 
Samara? It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. What brings a Justicar out here? My daughters have lived here for centuries, Garrus. I've come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Polar and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. This was likely the Reaper's initial attack site. Think the monastery got any warning? Few signs of resistance. I'd say very little warning. You got it. As soon as I was able. Shepard, 
This is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardadyakshi. They have Rila. Mother, they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to... The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? But didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Valer. You sound like the commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Valer? I'm sorry. Valer! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. Despite this destruction, most of the damage to the monastery is cosmetic. Really? A remarkable amount of this complex is structurally intact. For now.
Another dead commando. Was she holding off Reapers, or was she left behind? It's likely she volunteered to set up nearby explosives. At least we're carrying on her work. <laughs> the bomb appears intact. So does Falaire. Rila. Rila, wake up. Falaire. Rila cannot hear us. Rila? Rila, can you hear me? Why did she do that? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? The explosives require a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. It's coming. Just go. Move. No, Rila. I love you, Rila.
Few can break the Reaper's hold. Rila's will was extraordinary, as was her love for you. We left her to die. Rila made her choice, and it has reminded me of what is truly important. Why I swore I'd lay down my life. What is that? Valer? The code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Valer. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so wonderful. Let go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive, I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. I'd understand if you wanted to help Valer rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Valer, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. <laughs> I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. <sighs> Alright, this would be a good place to put a pin. And the next episode we'll go talk to the Quarians and get that going. But until then... Zeus for Omega is out.